All right, welcome back. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. It is Sagittarius season as we continue. We're almost at the end of November. Actually, when I'm posting this today and recording it, we are actually on the last day of the November cycle for Sagittarius the 30th. So those of you born today, happy birthday. I'll be back with your daily read after this video. This particular video is the daily read for those of you who celebrated your birthdays from the... Let me get it right. 28th through the 29th. I've already uploaded the 27th and um, from the 25th through the 26th. Getting kind of caught up, but I believe these messages are still pertinent that you receive it. And again, don't forget collectors in the general Sagittarius community. Even if it's not your particular birthday, you can still pick up on the vibes of the Sagittarius energy on these daily reads, and some of it might pertain to you. It's just good to have knowledge of what's going on um, with the daily reads because you never know when something might be honing into your energy, whether it is past, present, or potentially in the future. Let's cleanse the space both in yours and mine. Let's receive positivity as we continue in this birthday season. This is dedicated again to those Sagis born on the 28th and 29th. And those of you born today, you'll get your reading shortly. Cards are blessed and prayed for as they all for all my readings to a lot for time. You might hear me shuffle in between, but I try to keep the video short, sweet, and just get you the information that I'm guided to by the angels in the universe to give you. So let's first start out with an opening prayer. Happy birthday to those of you born on the 28th and 29th of November, no matter what year. May God continue to brighten your life and open up your spirit and the doors of opportunity. May he heal you from any past trauma or childhood wounds. May love be your light and guidance source. And may the universe bless you with brighter tomorrows and a hopeful today. In love and peace always. Amen. Okay, so let's start out with those of you. We start at 219, born on November 28th. We're first going to go to the tower for you. You get the King of Pentacles. So you, many of you at this particular stage, you are very much in charge of your destiny or you know what it is that you want to do career-wise. You're a hard worker. You've achieved a lot. So you probably have a nice nest egg, whether it's in the stock market, your 401k, or just your regular savings. But you are one that has put away for a rainy day. And I think others look up to you because of your leadership qualities, especially with the way how you manage your wealth or the opportunities that you work hard towards. You're one who sets goals and people look up to you in a sense as a, as a person that can mentor them on how to become better savers, how to be fortunate in the careers that they have. Even if they're not the best paying jobs, you can still make the best of it and learn how to navigate your money and how to make your money and your talents work for you. Underneath that, we get the Empress. So not only are you in charge of your earthly possessions and your financial wealth and stability, and you have true leadership qualities, you're also the one to give birth to new ideas, to new opportunities. This is another reason why people gravitate towards you. You're very nurturing. And this goes whether it's for my female or male Sagis born on the 28th. So this could be a symbol too that some of you are expecting or you're hoping in this next year in which we celebrate your birthday that this is the year that maybe you have your first child or if not, you become a grandparent. Your ancestors have a message for you with the air guardian. Shift your perception. They want you to <clears throat> maybe get into a new realm of thinking. Think differently. Think outside the box. Don't think the same way that you usually do. Don't let your ideas get stagnant. Change with the times. Um, adapt to new technology, new awareness. Be focused, eyes for you, fascinated watching. This could be you being focused. This is the eye of someone on you. Someone has captured your attention or you have captured their attention, more importantly. So there's definitely someone that has tapped into you. And hopefully they're tapped into you in a positive way. They're fascinated by you. They are intrigued by you. Again, we started out with the King of Pentacles and the Empress energy. So you are definitely this type of Sagittarius, as with most Sagittarius, 
that people are intrigued by, entertained by, and just they have an awe of you. Your emotional energy is that you're fulfilled, satisfied, self-fulfilled. Many of you, in whatever stage of life you're in, you're in a good place. And I love that for you. You also get the message of letting go. It is time to release into the universe, into this stratosphere. Past feelings, old hurts, things that you're in denial about, anything that is holding you down or keeping you from being grounded, especially if you're trying to work upon your foundation and make, make it even stronger and give birth to new ideas and new opportunities. You want to let go of anything or anyone that is stopping you or trying to block your blessings. Get another level card for you. I can't talk to you right now. There is someone that is trying to connect with you or or trying to get in your good graces, but you can't talk to them right now. This could be part of that energy that you need to release and that person falls in that category. So as much as they want to be forgiven by you or they want to get back in your good graces, you're just not in the space to talk to them because really you're trying to release them. And um, so you talking to them would give them false hope and that's not what you want to do. As you close out in your career, you get in the flow. The universe is sending you help. So continue to tap into your inner power and even go deeper to create the purposeful life that you really want to have. So for those of you who are doing well financially, you have the great job or you're starting an additional career, you're opening up your own business, you have a nest egg set away, you're really not struggling you're in a good place, continue to keep working on that. Just because you're doing good doesn't mean you can't do great, right? And for those of you who are struggling and need to get on better footing, this is the time to start making it happen. We close you out with a spiritual verse from Proverbs 3 verse 6. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. So even when you feel confused and you don't know what to do, how do I make more money come to me? How do I manifest my dreams? How do I get my company to start or get better positions or attract better love? Let God be your guide and put him first in your life and he will guide you with everything else that you desire. So I love that for those of you born on the 28th. At 732, we're now tapping into those of you born on the 29th and your message from the ancestors is the seer. See beyond the current situation. If there's a situation in your life that is really taking a lot of your energy and time, you're almost either at a disgust or you're just frustrated because you can't get it to be resolved or you're not quite in the place that you would like to be with this situation. Maybe you need to come out of the situation and look at it as a spectator. Look at it from the point of view of the universe. See beyond what you're seeing and what you want in the situation and see it for what it really is. And the answer and the solution and the resolution might come towards you. You also get you appear to be afraid. It shows and it gives the situation or other person the upper hand. This could be tied into your situation. Again, you could be too close to the situation and you're showing your hand by showing your anxiety. You're showing your stress and frustration. Um, and by you doing so, you're giving your opponent the upper hand if you're trying to compete with someone or get something or resolve some, something feasibly in your honor or at least become a win for you you also get accept when it's over so just as much as you need to be patient and work hard and step back and look into certain situations to give you resolution you also have to be adult and wise and mature enough to know when the battle is over the victory either has been won or lost and it's over. You've got to go on. So whether it's a situation with you and an employer, an employee, your family, your lover, whatever the situation is that you've been kind of, again, it's been taking up all your time and energy. Maybe the battle's already lost or the battle's already won and there's nothing else to be done. It is over. So except when things are over, no matter what walk of life you're in or what the situation is. You want me to go back to this deck again? They are feeding you lies. There is someone in your life that is feeding you lies. And if this person is tied to this situation that you're in, that should be able to also give you clarity of getting out of that situation and moving forward. Your energy right now 
there's someone that is jealous of you, suspicious, possessive. So watch that energy around you. This could be part of the energy of a person, a uh, situation that you need to release. You also get the card of honest work. It's okay to have a job that's not glamorous. A lot of people have jobs that pay the bills. It might not be the most exciting job and you might not get, you know, a seven or eight figure, but it's an honest job and honest pay will always reward you in the end. Fast money is never good money. So get some experience to help you move up in the future, even if it means getting a remedial job, a second or third job in a department store, you know, a restaurant. Not the best job, but it's an honest job. So there is success in the process, but many of you, it's not going to be fast. You're not going to get a quick fix to your financial situations, especially if you waited late in life to really start paying attention to your spending and your building and putting your whole assets and, and wealth and gener generational wealth together. It's going to take time. It's going to take time for you to cultivate new ways, paying off debt, paying off notices, collections, rebuilding your credit, and finding new ways to make that money work for you. It's a lesson in progress, so be patient with yourself. You also get the message of thwarted plans. Sharpen your will and persevere. It will not cause any long-term negative consequences. So there could be delays, there might be change in your plans, but these changes and these delays actually could be towards your benefit, Sagittarius. So take heed. Let's get one more card in romance and we get a vacation. Well, not romance, but in career finance. Some of you could award yourself with a nice vacation because of money you've saved up. You could have a vacation savings plan. A lot of people back in the day used to have vacation saving plans and then towards the end of the year or during the summer, you cash it out and take your trip. This could be also your Christmas bonus that you're planning a vacation. It could be just a sign that you can reward yourself and you deserve rest from all your hard work. And especially if you're releasing certain situations and you're coming towards the end of certain cycles or situations in your life where you really took, <laughs> you took a beating with it. What a great way to just put your feet up and put it all behind you and start to manifest and dream and look towards the present and towards the future. Now, I know I did things backwards with this particular video. I usually do the characteristics first and then I do the reading, but I did it a little different, but I'm still going to give you the characteristics. We're going to go to a card for both birthdays, the 28th and the 29th. We get Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. The God wants you to be strong, Sagittarius. There's a lot of temptation. There's a lot of bad people out there and bad and toxic energy. There are people trying to trap you and set you up and people who just want to bring you down because they're miserable, because they're not doing well. So put on your armor. You see my Saint Michael there. Not only is he protecting me, but he's protecting you. Stay prayed up and have that warrior of your spiritual protection with you upon all times and pray for it, not only for you, but for your family and friends. Okay, now we're going to go into the characteristics. It's crazy, right? We're almost now at the end of the November cycle of Sagittarius. Then we start the December. It's not too late for you to send me your birthday and the year. Even if it's already passed, I'll try to keep it on record for next year. And again, congrats to Chrissy. Uh, she won the first of the Sagittarius seasons. Just a little short mini read to show my appreciation to those who subscribe, share, like, and comment. And again, if you're a subscriber, if you don't comment, there's no way that I'm going to know you're watching the videos. So it really pays to comment because I get to know you and your name is out that I can pull for these different raffles and, and prizes that I give during the birthday season. So congratulate Chrissy D. I'll be pulling another name in the beginning of next week. And it might be you if you've been participating on the channel. And you must be someone that's been participating, not just joined, but you've been commenting for some time. Okay, so let's get to the characteristics at 1440. For those of you born on November 28th, your ruling planet, of course, is Jupiter. Your lucky colors are purple, blue, or possibly orange. Your lucky days could be Sunday or Thursday with favorable numbers on those days or just in general. 
three in one. Your tarot card is the magician talking about your willpower. Your birthday sign is the sun. And your shadow side, your dark side, you can appear to be scattered in your thoughts or actions. You can be very restless and self-destructive. So you get in the way of your own blessings. But at your best, you're spontaneous, optimistic, and charismatic, the ultimate Sagittarius. Your greatest challenge is making realistic plans. So you might be a daydreamer, and there's nothing wrong with daydreaming, but you have to be able to face reality and deal in reality in real time. A way that you can work with this is to set short-term goals. And as you reach each goal, then go on to something else. Don't try to multitask and take on more than you can chew. Move ahead in a slow space. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. You are attracted to people or drawn to people born between July 23rd and August 22nd. You both have huge hearts. You um, love to travel. You're adventurers. And there's a stimulating and very passionate connection between you both. Those born on the 28th, you are true free spirits. You have a vast desire for knowledge. You, you want to grow. You want to learn. You're natural philosophers, and you want to broaden your vision and your insight as much as you can. A lot of you are scientists who just stay in the lab, just creating and learning and growing. You're, you're composers. You're writers. You work to the late of the night. You, you, We got the King of Pentacles at the beginning of this reading for a reason because you're such, you're, there's such conviction in your work dedication. You have a natural curiosity and eagerness for the future. Um, you can be flirtatious with your ideas as well with people. But even with that, you still need to learn commitment because your freedom separates you sometimes from the ideas and people. And you don't necessarily might want to be exclusive. Despite your wit, you can be flighty amongst people and you seem to have a complex side. Uh, other people might criticize you for your moodiness and you can be a little messy. But you don't hold grudges for long. And you're always creative and you somehow get yourself out of the situations or entanglements that you get yourself into. By the age of 24, you have a powerful turning point in your life where there's a greater emphasis and you take more responsibility in your life and your work and the things that you want to progress in. In your love life, whatever you can do to make your partner happy, even though you may struggle with your indecisiveness and your on defense, your off defense, you will do your best. Um... You could be a little jealous sometimes, too, and give signs of insecurity. And I think that's when you're all over the place and restless, which causes destructions, not only for you, but in your relationships. You want to love her, but you want to love her that gives you freedom. When it comes to your health, you enjoy rich living. Um, and you may have problems managing your weight, especially around your hips and thighs. So pay attention to those areas. Um, it's suggested you drink a lot of water to flush away the toxins. Many of you are journalists or you could be, become journalists and have careers in the business or humanitarian sector. Your destiny is to be an inspiration. You want to be a force of insight for the world. Those of you born on the 29th, as we're coming to a close, your greatest challenge is learning to listen. Just don't judge and give yourself more advice. You're joining people born on July 23rd to August 22nd. Your ruling planet is Jupiter. Your favorite numbers are four or two. Your lucky days are Mondays and Thursdays. Your lucky colors could be blue, silver, and white. Your turquoise is your birthstone. And of course, archer is your symbol. Your birth date ruler is Mars. When it comes to love, you thrive on interacting and being with others. You're fascinated by people's energies and you may struggle to spend long periods of time alone. You don't like to be alone necessarily. Um, when it comes to your health, you need to make sure to find ways to occupy yourself. And don't rely so much on other people to make your life healthy or happy. 
When it comes to your career, you are born communicators and commentators, so you might get some type of job where you're vocal or vocal coach, you're a present, uh, a teacher in the arts, you're excellent debaters, correspondents, film directors, journalists, anything again with your voice or communication, um, the gift, the gab, you've got it. Your ultimate destiny is to step down from your pedestal every now and again and mingle with the crowd because again you have this thing about being around people so you need to learn to be the best that you can be not only within yourself but around others once you're able to listen and take in the opinions of others your destiny is to enliven others and make that progress a very important thing in your life so you're very high strung on yourself but as much as you love yourself you do love people and you want to be around them but it's like you like it you like to do it in doses so as you grow older you get more comfortable with your people skills then you'll be able to communicate to the people who look up to you and they're drawn to you because there's a lot that you can teach them you just don't feel comfortable teaching them until you work out those people's skills well that is it for those of you born on the 28th and 29th of november thank you for joining me happy birthday for this season and may you have a beautiful year to come and if this is your first time watching don't let it be the last hit subscribe check the all notification button and be a subscriber and join me because i'm here 24 7 even beyond our birthday season so I look forward to continuing this love and this life of laughter with you through the readings, through the mystical and spiritual energies of this universe. God bless you and happy birthday.